ಅದ್ರ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಸರ್ ಎ ಪಿ ಎಫ್ ಟಿ ಒಡಿಶಾ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎ ಚೀಫ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಕೇಜನ್ ಚೀಫ್ ಗೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಕೇಜನ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ದಿ ಗ್ಯಾದ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಪ್ರಭಾಕರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇ ಎಫ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಸುಶೀಲ್ ಕುಮಾರ್ ಸಾಹು ವೈಸ್ ಪ್ರೆಸಿಡೆಂಟ್ ಟಿ ಕ್ಯೂ ಇ ಎಫ್ ಪ್ರೊಫೆಸರ್ ಸತ್ಯಾದರ್ ಸಿ ಮಿಶ್ರ ಎ ಬಿ ಐ ಟಿ ಕಟಾಕ್ ಶ್ರೀ ಅರವಿಂದ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಿ ಇ ಓ ಟಾಟಾ ಪವರ್ ಸೆಂಟ್ರಲ್ ಒಡಿಸಾ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಲಿಮಿಟೆಡ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯೂ ಅಟ್ ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಔಟ್ speak for 3 minutes whatever is for in the occasions instead of uh, using mobile phones i mean during the presentation i hope all of you could participate right i talk something uh, i mean about uh, the initiatives in the because most of you i could see that most of you students from dreams abit katak and my constituent unit of uh, iim it i am i am it i am it katak so i hope all of you to participate all of you to concentrate on the discussions right because it's a wonderful i could see that uh, i mean somebody from industry somebody from practical you must go out i used to, I used to tell way back few years back i was there in dreams as a principal i used to tell students that whenever something happens you must go out speak for 3 minutes 4 minutes 5 minutes whatever discussion and took place that's very very important otherwise there is no use no use of attending a lecture so faculty members students of different colleges i will talk about the subject but before that let me tell you since most of you are from my own universities bput bijapatnai university of technology students of bput role of students are very important this topic has been chosen team area topic topic is stakeholders in optimization of power distribution i remember way back possibly 7 8 years back i was giving i have given a project to the students the difference between distribution of internet and the connectivity the switches the routers and you map it with distribution of power try to find out what are the similarities and what are the differences i have given a project to the students when i was faculty members of vss in burla and give a presentation i have given it this particular work to group of students what are different topology what topology they have in the distribution of power so student participation because one or those days when we were students i mean uh, from iit madras nit raurkela and all stalwarts those days are mostly teacher centric learning teacher used to give lot of stuff to the students and students used to be very brilliant whatever teacher will give they take it and do it in a good spirit and uh, implement it now taking the concentration of student is very very important after 20 seconds they lose concentration how to take concentration of student is very important those days no mobile phones <coughs> nowadays everybody is carrying two two mobile phones any i mean uh, any whatsapp messages immediately look at it as if you don't look sky is falling out of your head right my point is in these world how to make teaching learning interesting is very very important how to take the i mean attention of student is very important so different pedagogy started different participation of students in classroom started instead of a student centric instead of a teacher centric learning student centric learning started participation of students in the classroom <coughs> if you if you I mean what i have done is in bpot i have met different type of classroom one classroom is of round table type of classrooms 
the training where the corporate gives the training in the round table you give problem to the students tell the students that one can be a leader one is a follower one is a coordinator one is an executor everybody will have some responsibility to play give them some work at least out of 40 lectures five lectures should be of different types all together in there student will participate student will go to the board and explain let me tell you those four years graduates we know the output we know the output engineering graduates completed the degree the output we know about what is the output let me tell you output is students should have knowledge of science and engineering problem analysis investigation of complex problems mode and tool usage environment and society professional ethics like your uh, uh, project management and finance team work all those outputs are known to you based on this output develop your curriculum develop the teaching learning process faculty members has to play a very very vital role as far as this particular exercise is concerned faculty members has to because we talk about outcome based education these days there are a lot of changes in the academics national education policy national education policies are a lot of challenges interdisciplinary multidisciplinary outcome based education give less information lesson to the students and tell them to participate these are the kind of work in the national education policy let me talk about the subjects what i thought i should say with you of course i mean it has been told uh, by mr arvind singh arvind singh nicely very nicely has elaborated the perspective of industry that is very important we are academicians but the perspective of industry is very important how they look at the problem how they look at the ground problem the consumers problem the problem in terms of distributions the renewable energy sources the problem in the world all those things it has been explained and elaborated very nicely let me tell you like uh, when it comes to ensuring efficient and sustainable energy distribution it's a team effort involving various parties as far as education is concerned what are the stakeholders your <coughs> students are stakeholders parents are stakeholders faculty members are stakeholders alumni are stakeholders as far as energy is concerned what are the stakeholders consumers are stakeholders distribution i mean distribution of energy okay the stakeholders in that process whoever is involved in the process of the particular problem they are the stakeholders first we have the government agency stakeholders they set regulations and policies government regulations government policies that encourage the adoption of renewable energy sources promote energy efficiency and ensure fair and reliable power distribution these regulations can include incentives for utility companies to invest in clean energy technologies and smart grid systems there are some problems also we have done it i mean um, related to smart water smart energy distributions that the kind of work we have done it in our one of my phd students speaking of utility companies or distribution companies as they are called in india are another important stakeholders they are responsible for managing and maintaining the power grid infrastructure by investing in advanced technologies like smart meters and grid automation they can monitor and control power distribution more efficiently and effectively this helps in uh, the energy loss what he has elaborated very nicely improve reliability and optimize the overall efficiency of the system but let's not forget about us the consumers we also have a role to play because one of the stakeholders in optimizing power distribution by adopting energy efficient practices and technologies such as using led bulbs reducing standby power consumption and using energy only when needed and not a second mode we can contribute to reducing overall energy demand that in turn helps relieve strain on the power grid and promotes a more sustainable energy in future
Let me tell you in my past organizations before coming as a vice chancellor of BPUT, I was there in NAC, National Assessment and Accreditation Council, Bangalore for four and a half years. Then we used to ask in the manual that uh, energy audit, the kind of energy audit and energy saving exercise you have done in your college or in your universities. That is the kind of questions we ask, not only on energy, on environment issues, on uh, process audit, energy audit, all those things we ask because the stakeholders, the institutions, the universities will be aware of it. Finally, renewable energy provides Renewable energy providers are crucial stakeholders in optimizing power distribution. Let me tell you, in NAC, we had solar power, solar energy. Whatever we were consuming the energy, it was completely sufficient, self-sufficient, the, the renewable energy we had. And we were supplying the grid also. It was a zero cost. Entire office, the energy cost is zero. And we were giving, I mean, the residual, I mean, the uh, uh, remaining is to the grid. That was the kind of work we have done it during my tenure, tenure as uh, as an advisor of NAC. As they continue to develop and expand their capacity, they contribute to diversifying the energy mix and reducing reliance on fossil fuels. This transition to clean energy sources helps mitigate climate change and ensures a more sustainable and resilient power distribution system. Let me tell you in conclusion that the optimization of power distribution requires the collaboration and effort of various stakeholders, from government agencies to distribution companies, consumers and renewable energy providers. Each plays a unique role in promoting efficient reliability and sustainability. Very recently, our government proposed a prosumer-oriented, independent, non-profit entity called Distribution System Operators. The DSO will be responsible for real-time operation and distribution embedded with security, reliability, and efficiency. The DSO are expected to do <laughs> ensure a synergistic, synergistic, interactive integration of distribution companies and distributed resources with transmission system operators take optimal network and investment decisions ultimately evolve into secure improved network system operator. The government, the companies and consumers all need to be in sync to understand that the true goal is the creation and nurturing of a sustainable energy process. Let us join forces and light up the path to a greener future together. Let me tell you, the, since it has been invited here to me but, uh, about BQT, let me tell you. BQT is, will be organizing different events for the faculty members, to groom the faculty members. For the students, every month we have an industry talk. This month, 28th at 3 o'clock. 3 p.m. We have an industry talk, Impro National Health Day. We talk to the students and the faculty members. Every month we have. Every 45 days we will have an exercise for the faculty members. This last week we had exercise for NPA accreditation for all the faculty members. Not only the affiliated colleges have been able to be invited, VSS to Kurla, which was our affiliated colleges long back. OUTR, which was CET has converted to OUTR, University and College of Engineering has converted to VSSUT. We invited them. We have invited the private colleges, private universities also. Private universities, they are not with us. I thought if we want to help the state, let BQT take the lead of inviting all the faculty members of the state to make them aware of different quality agencies available. Similarly, we are conducting one more program maybe within a month or within two months, NIRF ranking. I have, during my stay in Bangalore, I moved from Kashmir to Kanyakumar, let me tell you, I have gone to all big colleges, big universities, starting from JNU, IIITs, NITs, many places I visited, right? Why the NIRF ranking of those institutions are good? Why can't our colleges, our universities, Odisha will not have good NIRF ranking. 
you get a lot of funding from industries, you get a lot of funding from UGC and other places. Right? That's the motto. With that motto, definitely, definitely that, uh, I mean, I, our interest is the biggest stakeholders, students should get better data. Students will not go after only to get pretty job in working in some software companies. Such a very good topic, electrical engineering. I am very sorry to say that throughout India, people are running after computer science engineering. Computer science engineering doesn't have a domain knowledge. What is the domain knowledge of computer science engineering? Electrical have a domain knowledge, but people are going rushing for computer science engineering just to work in a software company where electrical students also can work, mechanical students also can work, graduates can work, civil graduates also can work. What is the domain knowledge of computer science? I have mean, a computer science engineering, but what is the domain knowledge? Electrical is so beautiful, electronics so beautiful course, they have not a domain knowledge. Computer science engineering is a subset of those branches. It has evolved from both branches, right? Because if you do such kind of exercises in the knowledge, electrical engineering, the scope of electrical engineering, the beauty of electrical engineering, the mix with computer science engineering with electrical engineering, then only there will be a demand for all those places. Now we are changing the syllabus for BQD after a long time, after a few years it has not been changed. Let me tell you the first year syllabus of Vijay Patnaik University of Technology will be different. 5th of this month, September 5th, we are going for academic council meeting. We are in the state, we have taken initiatives to make uniform curriculum and syllabus for the, all the universities. BQT, BSSUT Kurla, OEPA, we have one course, one syllabus and curriculum. Similarly, we will have, we will try to have one academic calendar. Whatever, see something if the education policy, somebody, somebody from my college, the PUD, if they get a faculty members of BSSUD taking an online course, what is the problem? All the best faculty from the state, students should be in a place where they will learn from the best faculty of the state. With this digital era, there is no problem in accessing the best faculties in the world. Right? That is the step we have taken, making it uniform academic calendar, making it uniform uh, uh, syllabus and curriculum so that in the state, everybody, within all students, will get benefit of that. Thank you very much for inviting me. I am sorry that Dr. Swami was, uh, I mean, Engineer Swami was, I mean, he was contacting me for a long time. After seeing you, I thought, uh, I mean, uh, you are very young. I was I told him that we are looking on to conduct such programs, making such programs, conduct such programs, and uh, so that there should be a complete uh, kind of tsunami inside the colleges as far as subjects are concerned, as far as latest technologies are concerned. Thank you very much for inviting. Thank you.